Um, so it's Thursday today, the 2nd of December. So I'm sure it's absolutely freezing at home and everybody's getting all Christmassy, getting the presents, getting the trees put up. And uh, here we are, boiling hot in Africa. So basically there's um, a team of dancers, musicians, um, that the Malaria Consortium officials have kind of employed to try and help educate the people how to use the nets properly. And so they're doing it through dance and music, which I actually think is a really good idea because it seems to be a lot more interesting to people than if someone was to just get up and show them how to put the net up. I think that might be a bit boring. I'm so embarrassed to dance in front of them. They're so good. I'm like, nothing I do is going to remotely compare. It's our third net distribution today. It's going to take forever if we don't get some sort of scissors. Wait. So there's probably about two, three thousand people here. I can't really see where it ends, but um, it's taking so long even just to get the nets out of the parcels that people are like going to be waiting forever. So we're just trying to get as many open as we can, but it's so. I find this bit really satisfying. It's like after climbing that bloody mountain, so bloody hard. This bit is like the good bit. It's like the really satisfying bit. I really get a kick out of doing this. I could stay here all day and do it. I'm not even joking, I love it. I've had a really amazing trip and I feel like I've learned a lot more about malaria actually in you know the past week. Slightly shocking really the enormity of the problem here still. Like I'm still kind of like, God, we have got a long way to go. Like the statistics are so high and this, I think there's still step three to be honest. Um, and education takes a little bit of time, so I think it'd be nice to revisit it in three or four years and you know see if people have taken it on board and managed to make a, a proper difference.